Welcome back to the to do app series where we started off by creating this splash screen in the very first part. And there I also explained how to easily design soft UI effects by yourself without the need of any plugins. But to make things easier, we started using the new morphism plugin in Figma. And in the second part, we continued by creating this sign-in screen in which this soft UI curve in the center was one of the main topics. And now we will skip the sign up page because there's nothing new to learn. It's almost the same. So in this video, we are going to finish the Figma design part by designing the to-do list screen. So in the next parts, we will start implementing all of that in Flutter. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming videos. And now let's get into some creative operations. So let's go back to the web version of Figma and let's duplicate the splash screen by hitting Ctrl D. And now again, we delete all the parts that we are not going to reuse. So almost everything, um, only our application uh, notification bar here at the top will stay. And I just repositioned the windows so that we can always compare our current design to the end result. First of all, I activate the layout grid because I want the elements to be aligned to the left and right border. Now I create a rectangle with a height of 50 and let's see how long the width can be. I just copy and paste this element for creating the checkbox. And of course this should be also 50 and let's stretch this a little bit out. I think 260 is fine. Let's make both of them rounded by using the corner radius. I give them a corner radius of 10. And of course they need another background color, the one that we use for our screen. So I take color from the background and this becomes invisible of course because it's the same color now, but it will become visible by using or a new morphism plugin. So I right click and here we can choose the new morphism plugin and we can simply apply the soft UI design. And I think we can keep this with the default settings. Let's have a look how this one looks if we deactivate the layout grid. And yes, I think this should be fine. And we of course can again copy the properties in order to paste them to our other element. And now both of them have this soft UI kind of design. And I just noticed that I have another shape for the checkboxes. So let's again use the new morphism plugin and apply this rounded shape. And that's the one that I'm using in my design. Now the text, I create the first text, which is shopping and activate auto width. And now we position it into the center, the vertical center. And now of course it needs the color that we previously used. And I think this one is a little bit too bright. So let's choose a darker tone and Yes, I think this is fine. For the check mark, I just use another plugin, which is in this case font awesome icons. And here I check if we have the check mark, click on it, and now I can drag it onto the button. I don't know why it always creates this frame, so I just delete it. And it does not look like it's directly in the center, so. I try. Okay, this looks fine. And of course, this has also the same color, this one. And now we have finished the first row. The other rows are very simple because now we can reuse this element. Let's create a group, which is list item. And by holding the alt key, I can duplicate it. 
let's give it a padding of 10 and I repeat it three times and now we have all the rows let's rename them so this one is dishes this one is yoga session and the last one is read a book let's apply some few adjustments so I drag this a little bit down in order to increase the spacing and the same for the other elements now we have a spacing of 14 units and this is much better and now let's drag this a little bit more to the center and now it looks more like our end result for the last element let's just copy this and give it the same spacing now let's change the text to create to do app ui design and this text should have a little bit more of transparency like let's say 40 percent this is fine in order to add the strike through effect click on this type details button and there you can choose the strike through effect so now it's applied and of course we need to change the effects that we are using here so let's go back to the new morphism plugin and instead of using this outgoing or outwards going shape we use this inwards going shape and the same goes for this element this is also going inwards let's change the color of the check mark to white I forgot that it's always better to apply the color before you apply the soft UI effect so let's delete the effects here and give it a green color shade like this one and now we can use the plugin again and make this looking soft and I think this should be fine maybe this looks a little bit too aggressive so you can also here play with the transparency so I think 50% is okay now it looks much more than our end result for this bottom sheet we again need another rectangle which has the same size or this the same width as the screen and let's bring it down to the bottom and give it a height of 100 and align it again so now this is fine this one needs two rounded corners so we can click on this one in order to make the corners independent to each other so we can just change the upper ones so the first two ones are for the top left and top right and now we have these wonderful smooth rounded corners for the background color we again take the one from the screen and the effect this time has a light source which comes from the bottom right or the bottom left doesn't matter which one of those so now this looks good if you want this to come from the bottom directly so not from the left or right just go into the settings and remove those x values or replace them with a zero like this do this for every drop shadow and now it's coming directly from the bottom I just copied the input field from the sign-in page so now let's change the text to enter to do line it to the left and now the only thing that we need is this plane icon you can get this one by using another plugin the iconify plugin i searched for plane and took the second one so now we can drag it over and align it let's delete this frame rescale it by using the scale mode realign it and i think this one is a little bit uh, tighter so i just change the width a little bit like this realign it again Again, change the color to whatever color you want and the soft UI effect I used here is something more specific I used 5 of elevation and 40 of intensity and I used this type of shape now 
the to-do list view is finished. If this video was helpful, leave me a like. If you'd like to see more content like this one, or if you're interested in programming and IT in general, make sure to subscribe. In the next part, we start implementing those screens with Flutter and Dart. Have a nice day and hopefully until the next one.